Hello guys, we are very proud to introduce the new V2 YSWEP kit for the E36 and the E46 chassis. This is a kit that's been in development for a while, it's been tested in Formula Drift, it's been tested in many other different series. I've been testing it myself as well, I'm really happy with it, uh, I'm glad it finally got introduced. As you guys know, YSWEP does a lot of testing before anything gets introduced, not just driving but also durability and stress testing back in the factory. One major difference that you can see is the top mounts, as you can see they are billet top mounts that resemble the adjustability process that you know from the S14 V2 and other YSWEP kits where you use a half inch drive that you attach to your ratchet and you put it in the middle of the top mount and you can adjust the caster that way. As some of you guys have experienced on the E36 chassis to run the desired caster you sometimes had to cut the front bumper because most of the adjustability came from the chassis mount or the lollipop. That's a thing of the past now because you can adjust it completely from the top mount and get the desired caster over there which gives you the ability to run a little bit bigger wheels and tires or a different offset there's just going to be a little bit more clearance in the wheel well on the v2 version for the e36 so the second big difference on the v2 kit is going to be the ackerman adjustability we had no ackerman adjustability on the first kits i really like the ackerman curve though i think it was the perfect ackerman curve now you're able to adjust it if you have a different driving style or for instance if you're driving a lot of banked tracks you can go to almost zero Ackerman. A lot of guys like driving with very very little Ackerman. It also depends on what wheels you run and what tow out you like to run. I really liked the Ackerman settings in the V1 kit and the good thing is that you can obviously also run that same setting on the V2. The way the Ackerman is adjusted is by putting different washers in the attachment point from the knuckle adapter to the knuckle, which is of course a very beefy way to do this because that's much stronger than changing the pickup point from the tie rod. By moving the knuckle adapter around, you're also moving the pickup point from the tie rod, but you don't have to mess around with that bolt itself that always stays in the same position. So that's very, very strong, very, very beefy. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's been extensively tested in many series. Very, very strong. Um, really happy with how that turned out. And it gives you a different Ackerman settings. Uh, there's two different additional Ackerman settings compared to the V1 kit. So that's something nice to play around with and to fine tune into your own style. Another difference is going to be the addition of a high trail version. So we have another version of this kit which has a different lock adapter which gives you more trail, which will give you more jacking. And there's obviously a style of drivers that want to run a little bit more jacking. For instance, Chelsea Denova has a style that contains a huge amount of jacking with the high trail version of this kit you're able to do that and uh, you can add some more jacking to your e36 e46 chassis my personal opinion is that it works it's very nice uh, for some instances on other instances i like to have more tire contact patch if you're doing for instance drift week where you're doing grassroots drifting you may want to have the ability to bail out if somebody spins out in front of you and if you have a little more tire contact patch that's a little bit easier the jacking is it's just a different style of driving. Some guys like it, some guys hate it. Now you guys can choose um, whatever you want to run. And the third big difference with the V2 kits, as you can see, is the lollipop or the chassis mount, as you can see on the left over here, which is which mounts the lower control arm to the chassis. This is now a clamp style rather than a locking nut style. So it's a little less parts. It has a little more reach. It can go a little bit further in and a little bit further out. So you have just a little bit more adjustability. I've tested it extensively, it works really well, it's very very durable and it's very compact and light so um, only wins over there. As you can see we still run the same lower control arm as on the V1 which has the provisions for the sway bar which also has the lock stop which is eccentric so you can completely fine tune how much lock you want in the car and make sure that there's no additional load on the steering rack on their lock. It has the billet tie rods, the two-piece tie rods that you guys know. And yeah, basically the big difference is the knuckle and the Ackerman adjustability, the availability of a high trail version and the different top mount, which will 
uh, give you more caster adjustment and obviously the aluminum lollipop or chassis mount that we spoke about. I'm really happy that this kit is on the market. It's just a little more versatile so people that are typically not Wisefab clients and want to have a different style of angle kit can now also run the Wisefab quality and the durability and obviously all the testing and development that we put in the kits and that's a really good thing for me we're just going to be catering to more driving styles and that's obviously a really big plus hit me up if you want to order this kit and we'll ship it out to you as soon as possible no matter where you live